Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video for the new Boston. Uh, in this video we're going to be talking about um, the for each construct. Now it's commonly referred to as a for each loop because it does actually loop through uh, elements of an array and allows us to uh, sort of iterate over an array and take out different elements. Now um, I'm left with the example here of um, when I did the or the code from the multi-dimensional arrays tutorial um, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, displaying to the user a list of healthy and unhealthy food so we can sort of see the practical uses of multi-dimensional arrays and then using this for e each um, construct to um, to basically display all these values rather than accessing the values uh, like so uh, we could do food healthy and then um, access element zero, which would be uh, salad. So if we refresh that, we have salad up here. So um, we start by just writing for each, and we have um, uh, some rounded brackets, and then we have a block. So it's as simple as that. That's the syntax for it. Now inside here, we need to address the array. So that would be food. And then we need to say as, so food as um, element. Okay, so food as element is taking um, is taking um, our element, um, which in actual fact is healthy and unhealthy. Now, because I also need to take into account these here, I'm saying food as element equals greater than food. Oh, sorry, I'll I'll just do it. Um, item for example okay so food is the array overall element is healthy and unhealthy and item is this array here so food element is this uh, sorry is this here and this here and then the item is each one of these so um, in fact I'll call it inner element just so it's easier to recognize. Now I'm going to echo element and then I'm going to append a line break on the end of that. So using the dot and then I'm echoing out some HTML. So now we need to refresh to see what's going to happen now. And you can see that we're presented with healthy and unhealthy. So already we've categorized the two different elements um, of this array inside here. Now what we want to do is we want to further access our inner elements. So at the moment, if I was to come down here and echo inner element, oops, spell it right, you can see that um, we're not going to have much luck because all we're trying to do is echo out an array. So let's just refresh that. You can see under each one, we've already um, we're already starting to pull together some kind of structure where we're going to list our healthy and unhealthy food. However, we're just being displayed with this array keyword. So you'll probably remember that um, the, we need to loop again to find um, information about these. Um, so we've already looped uh, to find information about these. Uh, however, what we can now do is we'll scrap this line here and we can say for each and create a new for each. So now what we can do is we can say for each inner element which should really be called inner array um, so let me just change this because it it makes a lot more sense uh, it's harder than you think naming variables so um, so we've echoed out each element of this so these health this healthy and this unhealthy now we need to go in and echo out each one of these so salad vegetables and pasta so now what we can do is say inner array as item item is equal to salad, vegetables, and pasta for um, this element here. Um, and for unhealthy, it's equal to pizza and ice cream. So now all we really need to do is say echo item, append a line break on, and we're done. Okay, so now when we refresh, you can see that it's taken each element of that and, and uh, it's um, put it into a list if you like. So what I'm going to do is make a simple change here. I'm going to append a strong tag on the start of there and a strong tag ending there. That just sort of separates um, our tables by making them um, more bold. So now what I can do is I can update this as much as I want. So I could say um, 
popcorn and refresh and it just adds an element uh, adds a um, a value uh, just straight into there so now you can see using this for each uh, we've been able to uh, take the um, inner inner array of um, this associative array overall it will be called a multi-dimensional array and we've just echoed out uh, the data that we need to